Welcome to Jerks Nuts Brew Review. I'm Alexis. I'm Steve, and today we're going to do a review of Jim Beam Kentucky Bourbon. Um, I have not tried Jim Beam in a long time. We did a review of Jack Daniels uh, a week or so ago. We already posted that one. Link down in the description. Check that way out. you can yep. check it out. Um, we're going to do it three different ways. We're going to do it neat. We're going to throw some ice on it, uh, do it on the rocks, and then we're going to mix some Coke in it. And then we're going to tell you what we thought of each one, which one we like, didn't like, rate them all, uh, whether or not we recommend them, mm -hmm. all that good stuff. So, uh, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, 40% alcohol by volume, 80 proof. This is just the straight um, just white straight label. Mm -hmm. um, so, here we go. Again, we're gonna do it uh, neat. First, uh, first we're gonna do it uh, neat, and then that's when we'll then we'll start mixing everything in it. Again, these are not gonna be professional uh, whiskey reviews or beer reviews. No. We're just gonna give you our opinion of it, whether or not it smells really. I'm not smelling it. Alcoholy. Um, how how the aroma is on our on our nose. How the taste is on our palate. What we think of it. All that good stuff. Give you the everyday, every man. Doesn't smell bad at all. No, you get the oaky. Um, and get the alcohol. Yeah, smell. you get a, you get a little bit of the alcohol burn, but you get a good uh, whiff of oak. To me, you get the, kind of the, the barrel. I think it's oak. It's kind of woody, kind of a woodsy smell. Nice, nice uh, color. color to it. Nope. Again, just take a drink, drink it just straight. Don't set it, don't let it sit in your mouth. Just take a drink, swallow, drink, swallow, and then. So Ooh, right, off the burns. Bat, right off the bat, I do get a little bit of the um, the spicy burn to it, and the alcohol burn a little bit. Um, I do get it does give me a, a little bit of a sweet. That burns. Does it? Yeah. I don't get the burn. It's pretty smooth. It's sweet though. It's smooth. It's just it, right off the bat. I mean, it burns. Yeah, you get that. You get the spice of it right off the bat. Um, I kind of like it. To me, it's it's really sweet. Um, I get I got a little bit of sweet flavor. I like it. I mean, at first I was I didn't think I was gonna like it, but I like it. Yeah, you get you get that little burn on the back, and then it's gone. Uh, pretty smooth. Uh, again, a little sweet. Uh, I'm not going to start trying to describe a bunch of flavors. It, it, it's really good. It's not bad. Um, it, it was smooth. Um, just, you know, be mindful you do get like that kick at the beginning. But I think once you get past it, it yeah. doesn't, like, I don't feel it anymore. Yeah, to me, I got a little bit of a sweet uh, sweet flavor to it. Um, Maybe the ice will kick the burn down way, like. Well, with that being said, with though. Uh, we'll throw three ice cubes in it. I know some people just put water. But we're just gonna throw some ice cubes in it. Three for her. Three for my favorite number. And three for me. Give it a little twirl. And yeah, tame down the the alcohol smell somewhat. Um, still get a little bit of the woodsy sweet. I get a little bit oh. of a sweet hint. Kind of burnt my nose here. Maybe, maybe vanilla-ish, I think, maybe. If I was trying to pick a, pick one, maybe not. No. Don't ask me. All I can woodsy. focus on I'll is... Get, yeah, all I can get is like a real woodsy uh, smell to it. Like um, a straight which, out the barrel. Hey, maybe what other people get may not be, but that's kind of what I'm thinking. Ready? Yep. So here we go. I'll try it. Definitely tamed the burn. Yeah, so throwing some ice cubes in it did kind of take that down. Still, man, really smooth. Really, really smooth. Still sweet. I still get that sweet, sweet uh, flavor to it. I'm not sure I'm a fan of the sweet uh, flavor on this, but uh, really smooth. The ice did pretty much take away the burn. Oh, yeah. I like it with the ice. Or the spice, whatever you want to say it. It's the burn. Yeah, the, the burn that you associate with that little burn. So now we're going to throw some Coke in it. And 
Isn't it Jack and Coke? Yeah, it's Jack and Coke, but we're going to do Jim and Coke. Coke. Is that a thing? It is today. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Coke. Two more. Pretty sure Coke goes with. Actually, pick a so three. It's Coke I think, and bourbon. Yeah, I think Coke, Coke pretty much goes with any kind of whiskey or bourbon. Um, it's pretty. I think it's pretty. We're gonna twirl it. Popular on that. So yeah, we'll kind of spilling it. Definitely don't get nothing but the Coke. <laughs> Did you already try it? Yeah, I started drinking it. This is like a bourbon and Coke. I think I made like this combination better than Jack and Coke. Well, this one is sweet. It's definitely sweet. So Coke is is, is a little sweet to me. Then this gym was was sweet from the beginning. Yeah. And I think that mixture is just even sweeter. Um, not bad. It's pretty good. Good, good mixer. Um, a really good mixer. Good. I liked it straight too. So, we'll yeah, start I with it. I like it on the rocks. So we'll start with it. Um, just neat. neat. Um, I give it a. I give it a six. Pretty fair. I give it a six too. Um, I don't. I think if I'd reach for this or like Jack, I'd probably reach for Jack, even though Jack. Well, we'll do a blind smoother. Yeah, we'll do a blind taste it. test, and we may surprise ourselves. But I think the sweetness of this one. Yeah, it is kind of sweet, and tone it down just a little what bit. What did shock me though was that the burn was all, lasted only for like yeah, a second. If, if it was fleeting, it, it went pretty yeah. quick. Um, now with some ice, uh, throw in some ice, and I'm going to give it a six. It's still good. Uh, tamed it down just a little bit. I still had the sweetness there, but I still give it a six. Um, not honestly it's not a bad daily uh drinker um i, I mean i would i would drink it neat or with uh with ice in it so i, I give it a six uh on the rocks i give it a six and a half i prefer it a little bit more than i prefer it neat uh just because the ice did kick down that burn just a little bit and i prefer my liquors cold I, I prefer any drink cold i don't like drinking hot things i've never have so yeah. Going into it, I would order it on the rocks. Yeah, the if heat. I, had to. I mean, the ice or the water brings that uh, the proof down some, so it kind of tones it down. So yeah, um, put coke in it, and um, you know what? After sitting here drinking a couple of these, I'm gonna give it a six and a half, maybe uptick just a little bit. Nah, I'll set it to six, all the way around a six. Um, it's good. I, I mean. I, I would I would drink them. Um, this isn't something I would turn my nose up to. I mean, I drink them. Um, above average, good daily drinker. So, I give, give it a six. It. I think I'm gonna give it a six and a half. Um, I don't. Not a six. I prefer on the rocks before I drink it with Coke. Um, just because of the simple fact is I'm not a Coke drinker. I prefer Dr Pepper or root beer. Um, and even then, Dr Pepper is very slight. Like. Yeah, it's probably sweeter than this to me, I think. Yeah, I would prefer this with something like... And the price of this? Less than $20 for a bottle of this? I Not mean, bad. I would almost go uh, to a 7 all the way around just on the price. Um, but, you know, my 6, a 6.5 all the way around, highly recommend it. like it. It's a good... If you have a little bar or if you're starting one, to me, it's a good one to, to put back there um, as just a, you know, a starter... Um, it's a, a good, good mixer, yeah. a good cheap one. It's a um, staple I don't, in your I, collection. I, I, you know, I know some whiskey or bourbon snobs may raise their nose up at it because you know it's you know Jim Beam, but oh, man, I would. I, I think that's. It's a, good. a staple in, in any beginner bar, anyways. I mean, you're gonna either have Jack Daniel, you're gonna have both Jack and Jim yeah, Beam. If you have Jack, go ahead and get Jim. Um, Jack and, and Jim, and go ahead and get a thing of Evan too. We're gonna do an Evan Williams review too, so uh, eventually. So yeah, I give it a six all the way around. I give it a, a thumbs up on the recommend. Try it. Uh, try it all three ways. Um, again, yeah, it's, it's all good. It's better, better than average. So. And it's however you want to drink it. So yeah. if you want, if you have a new way to yes. drink your Jim Beam, drink it that way. Put mix down it. in the comments how you take your Jim Beam. Yep. And if you mix it, what do you mix it with? We all we know is the Coke one. So. Yeah, and uh, give us uh, your feedback on what you think of Jim Beam. Uh, give us some other um, recommendations. recommendations on what um, whiskeys or bourbons or what you would like for us to review. Put those down in comments. Um, give us a like and a subscribe. And 
click the notification bell so you get mm -hmm. notified when we upload our videos. We will be coming up with a schedule of when we're going to be uploading them from now on. So be, yeah. Be on the lookout for that. I'm Alexis. I'm Steve. And this is Jokes Notes for Review. Deuces. Peace out.